And Michigan drivers are used to dodging potholes, right? But one woman found herself dodging paintballs. Her car was pelted with pellets while driving at I-96. Our Priya man is live with his story. And Priya, one of those paintballs actually made it inside the car. Well, Guy, the window was cracked just enough that one of those paintballs made it inside. Now, the woman's daughter, she crouched down, and the driver, this great-grandmother, well, she's only 4'11", so the paintball whizzed over the top of her head. But if it had hit her face, the outcome would have been tragic. It was an awful prank. That was the worst thing you could ever do. That is not fun. 74-year-old Patricia Washington was driving on I-96 approaching the Davison when her car was shot at repeatedly. It was just like pow, 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 and then I said, oh my God. Her daughter, sitting in the passenger seat, instinctively crouched down. When I actually bent down, I was able to kind of come to myself, and I looked, and that's when I seen the orange paint. And I'm like, this is freaking paintball. In total, their PT Cruiser was hit more than 30 times from a vehicle that pulled up beside them. They were laughing. They thought it was funny. They just had their windows down enough to so you can hear and see the gun going out of the car. Under fire from a paintball gun, this great grandmother sped off. So she was just driving like Mrs. Daisy. She was going was and she was getting out of there, you know. As they say, Jesus take the wheel up. I know he had to have a part of that. <laughs> The women got off the freeway and with their car like this, they knew they'd be getting some looks. People were like, what happened? They were looking like, what? And it was so embarrassing. I was like, this is really embarrassing. You know, she's talking about old people looking. I said, you know what? Thank God we're here because we could have been on the side of the road. Thankful they weren't injured. This great grandmother has a message for the people responsible. Please don't do it. You can, you know, harm people and not just one person. That could have been a big catastrophe out there on the road. Now, the vehicle in question took off toward downtown Detroit, and the women describe it as a burgundy in color Ford Fusion or Impala style vehicle. And the beginning letter of that license plate started with an M. They're hoping somebody may have seen that vehicle or knows the kids who pulled this prank, and they'll come forward. Reporting live from the west side, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.